Hi there, my name is Cece and I'm a Girls Inc. Youth Counselor at the YWCA Minneapolis. Today, we're gonna learn how to make a zine. Now, a zine is sort of like a mini magazine where you get to tell any kind of story with words, poems, drawings, collages. You get to be as creative as you'd like. I decided to make my zine about my own story, the story of my life. What does the story of your life look like? Now, let's get started. All you need is a sheet of paper. Now I'm using a smaller sheet of paper because that's all I have at home, but a piece of eight and a half by 11 inch printer paper works best. Um, and then you just need some markers or paints, colored pencils, or anything else that you wanna use to decorate your zine with. Okay, so first we're gonna fold our paper into um, like a hot dog style, like a hot dog bun. So fold it like that. Nice crease. Then you're gonna open it back up and fold it hamburger style. So like this. Folding and creasing. All right, now you're gonna open it back up and this part's a little tricky, but not too bad. We're gonna take this edge and this edge both to the middle. So we're gonna fold this like that and give it a good crease. And then do the same with the other side. So this side goes to the middle. Wonderful. Now you're gonna open it back up and fold it again, hot dog style. And you're gonna take some scissors, which I forgot to mention you also need. And you're gonna cut just until this middle crease. So I'm gonna make a dot and show you where to cut. I'm gonna cut right to that middle, that middle dot. Awesome. And then this part is where the magic happens. So we're gonna fold it hot dog style and you're going to push it like this towards the middle and move all of your pages around. So you have a little book. Awesome, nice job. So then, once it, when it's in your book style, you're gonna label each page on the bottom. So starting with one all the way to eight. And eight should be the last, the back page. Then you're gonna open it back up. And now you have all of your pages labeled so you know which ones to decorate in order. And I'll show you an example of how mine turned out. So this is the story of me and my story. So these are the states that I grew up in and I fell in love with Lake Superior. I love canoeing and music. Then I moved to Oregon and became a feminist. And that's my story so far. So let's see how creative you can be. 